Okay, it is time to talk about bio-nanogenomics one more time. Welcome to Hyper Profit. I'm Andrew Edwards, and while none of this is financial advice, today we're talking about one of my favorite long-term stocks, bio-nanogenomics, ticker symbol BNGO. Now, I did do an introductory video to this one a few weeks ago, and there was a ton of interest in that video, so I figured it was time to do a follow-up now that we're in a more volatile market than we were back then. And I'll leave a link to that previous video down below, but BioNano did also recently report earnings, so I figured let's take another look at how they're doing. Ticker symbol BNGO. Be sure to hit the like button if you wanna see more deep dives like this and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. BioNanogenomics is currently sitting at a price of $7.88. For me, this is a buy zone since it's down about 13% from where it was a week ago. And this is why you need to have a Webull account so you can buy in the pre-market and aftermarket, which I'm currently in right now. Market's closed. We like to buy in the pre and aftermarket on this channel. Link down in the description. Webull gives you an extra eight and a half hours of trading time per day, which allows you to scoop up deals while everyone else is sleeping. Now, if you're unfamiliar, BioNanogenomics is a company committed to unlocking the understanding of genome biology. The goal is to use genomics to help in areas like cancer, human disease, and agricultural bioengineering. Their genome mapping and analysis tools help researchers see true genome structure to fill in what's missing from sequencing-based data. Sapphire is BioNanogenomics high-speed, high-throughput whole genome mapping solution, and it offers unmatched structural variation discovery capabilities and the ability to construct the most complete genome assemblies. So Sapphire is BioNano's big product offering. The Sapphire system enables researchers and clinicians to accelerate the search for new diagnostics and therapeutic targets and to streamline the study of changes in chromosomes which is known as cytogenetics. BioNano also provides genome analysis services to provide access to data generated by the Sapphire system for researchers who prefer not to adopt the Sapphire system in their own labs. Sapphire is so impressive because traditional genome mapping costs between ten dollars and $20,000 per genome and only detects about 72% of the structural variation. Sapphire costs less than $500 per genome and is significantly more sensitive than traditional sequencing methods. Even better, BioNano says that it believes it can achieve $100 per genome in the next version of Sapphire. So by all accounts, this is a winner for BioNano. The latest earnings by BioNano were reported on March 23rd. Earnings per share increased 82.61% year over year, and revenue was $3.99 million, which is up 43% from the same period last year, which beat analysts' estimates of $3.5 million. The 52-week high was $15.69, while the 52-week low was 25 cents per share. So that was the earnings for last quarter, but what do we have to look forward to in the future? Since the beginning of this year, BioNano has raised around $335 million through two stock offerings. CFO Chris Stewart said that BioNano believes its cash stockpile significantly de-risks the company, solidifies their financial future, and allows them to focus on the achievement of their long-term vision to disrupt genomics through the global adoption of Sapphire. The company also expects to obtain accreditation for Sapphire-based lab-developed tests for acute lymphocytic leukemia and fascio-scapulohumeral muscular dystrophy in European markets in the second quarter. BioNano also plans a commercial release of prenatal analysis and an expansion of the selection of its pediatric analysis tools in Q3. In the fourth quarter, BioNano expects to have a prototype of its next-gen high-throughput Sapphire system ready for testing. Now, if all goes to plan, BioNano will finish this year with a much larger install base. The company projects that it will have 150 systems installed by the end of Q4 2021, which is a 50% jump from the end of 2020. The outlook of bio-nanogenomics and why I think this is one of my picks for buying and holding as a long-term investor. Drop a comment below letting me know if you're holding this one too, or alternatively, anything that makes you want to avoid this play. I'll meet you there for further discussion. Thanks for watching as always, guys. I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Webwards, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Hyper Profit.